evening, it's Peyton with Flick Hospitality Group and welcome to our virtual cookie swap. I'm really excited to be making Carrie's Take a Hike cookies today. There are a lot of really delicious things in this recipe. Um, it's full of nuts and seeds and oats and dry fruits and all things that I love. So let's get started. First off, I've got the oven preheated to 300 degrees, and we're going to toast off not only our nuts and seeds, but also our oats. I did line my sheet tray with a piece of parchment today. That's just for easy cleanup. I'm gonna mix these up and they're gonna go in the oven for about 10 minutes until they're nice and fragrant and they're beginning to toast. Okay, while my nuts and my seeds and my oats are toasting, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on our wet ingredients. All the wets go in together. It's a really easy recipe to follow. So I've got two eggs, I've got white sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, it's got a whole tablespoon of vanilla, so I know it's gonna have a lot of really great vanilla flavor. And this is salt, baking soda, and actually cayenne pepper, which I can't wait to try. It's really gonna jazz these cookies up. So using my paddle attachment, I'm gonna cream all of this together while my nuts are working. And when they come out of the oven, we'll let them cool a little bit before kind of adding everything else. Okay, my nuts are out of the oven. They are cooling and resting. Uh, the timing works out pretty well that these come out of the oven about the same time the sugars and the butters um, and all the wet ingredients are creamed together. And the recipe does say that we should rest this on the counter as well. So these are cooled, I'm rested, and now I'm going to add the flour. Um, Basically, at this point, it's very similar to making a chocolate chip cookie. So add the flour to the wet ingredients, and then once those are incorporated, we're going to stir in not only the toasted nuts, seeds, and oats, but also dried pineapple, mango, white and dark chips, and the recipe calls for cranberries, but I have dried cherries, so that's what I'm going to use today. All right, my flour is incorporated into my wet ingredients. And now I'm just gonna use the paddle attachment and the stand mixer to go ahead and put in all of the dried fruits and the nuts, the seeds, and the chocolate. Um, it's pretty cool. You can see that this recipe is gonna end up being mostly trail mix and probably just enough batter to hold everything together. I totally get why it's called Take a Hike Cookies. When all your ingredients are mixed together, chill in the refrigerator for at least three hours. Once chilled, scoop and press into two to three inch discs. Our cookies are all done. They are still warm. Uh, I can see all of the nuts and the seeds and the chocolates. And I know that these are gonna be really, really special. I can't wait to try one. Um, but first, I think the thing I love most about this recipe is that you can make it ahead and keep it in the refrigerator and scoop as you go. So you can have a couple warm cookies anytime you want or you can just plan ahead in case you're gonna have a big crowd. Thanks for baking with me today. Have a safe and happy holiday.